Hi and welcome to another monthly Decred development update. Today we'll be going over some of the recent advancements made in DCRD, Decred's full node, new updates for the rebrand of DCRDX Bison Wallet, Decred integration into the Atomic Swap Exchange Basic Swap, and more. Decred version 2 achieved true decentralization by shifting the responsibility entirely to Decred nodes. These nodes now handle all communication and coordination needed for CoinShuffle++. Each node contributes to the mixing process, shuffling transactions together before broadcasting them. This eliminates the reliance on a single point of failure and strengthens the overall privacy of the network. In simpler terms, version 2 transferred Decred's mixing from a single coordinator or server to a collaborative effort among all participating nodes making it more secure and decentralized. A recent patch, version 2.0.3 has arrived. This includes improved sender privacy for transactions and mixed messages via randomized announcements. Nodes now maintain at least three mixing capable connections, reduced memory usage during periods of lower activity, and mixing related performance enhancements. And now let's look at development updates. For DCRD, Decred's full node, a number of fixes and optimizations were applied to the mix pool and mix client for the coin mixing process. For DCR Wallet, updated to the latest mixing modules, fixed request of new blocks after initial sync, and updated to the latest DCRD modules. For VSPD, Decred's voting service provider software, a number of optimizations were also applied in concert with the Decred version 2 updates. For Bison Relay, Decred's peer-to-peer -peer communications protocol, the default mainnet port was switched to 443, which should clear up some connection issues. The inbound Lightning Network channel shows more information, and the client was updated to the Material 3 theme, which tweaks the UI. A new release of Bison Relay, version 0.2.1, fixes a number of bugs, including avatars, link and message color, message margins, and adds a network configuration screen on startup to allow for specialized networking setups. The underlying Decred Lightning Network software has also been updated. Decred has hit a new all-time high metric, with over 9,970,000 Decred in the staking ticket pool. Staking yield remains steady at around 6% per year. Bison Wallet, which is the new rebranded version of the Atomic Swap-based DCR DEX, now has more pairs available for testing, including Firo, Digibyte, Dash, Matic, and Zcash. All of them have USDC pairs on Polygon for low fees and quick confirmation. The swaps I've tested on Tested are quick and without issue. I've yet to encounter any problems, which gives me hope that Bison Wallet is near release. I also got to test out the Firo Electrum Wallet working with Bison Wallet to perform swaps, sending, and receiving. It all works without a hitch. Bison Wallet is going to fix a lot of the previous problems experienced with DCR DEX, including onboarding, user experience, trading fees, trading pairs, market maker bots for liquidity, and much more. Bison Wallet is a 49 megabyte executable file that opens up in your web browser. The whole process is streamlined and it just works, just as a user might expect. This is going to truly offer users an alternative to centralized exchanges which take custody of user funds and can arbitrarily be shut down, or enforce various forms of rent seeking. Looking at under the hood Bison Wallet updates recently merged, the server version is being bumped to version 1, unneeded version 0 code is being purged. This change effectively revokes legacy accounts. Legacy users will have to post a strength 1 bond to remain at the same trading tier. Remove the old coin mixer that is now outdated due to the mixing now done between the nodes. The server now uses external fee rates for Bitcoin. Market maker bots now use proper context bot loops. Improvements were made to Electrum wallets. The Bison wallet rebrand has been completed for Darwin OS builds. The login UI has been simplified and the form styling normalized. The clients of Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, Doge, Firo, Dash, and Z Classic were updated. The Bitcoin Cash SPV wallet has now been disabled as it's no longer actively supported. Fixes were made so the server no longer increases a user's reputation when they swap with themselves. And of course, there were numerous other minor fixes, tweaks, and optimizations made as Bison Wallet gears up for its official release. Decred has upped its privacy game by integrating into Basic Swap, a new atomic swap based DEX with private adapter signature swaps. This allows for direct, peer to peer swaps between Decred and other currencies, particularly privacy focused ones like Monero, Firo, WowNero, and PivX. This integration expands Decred's reach and liquidity within the privacy-conscious crypto space. Remember on BasicSwap, you self-custody your funds, running your own nodes and wallets. The Prune Monero node is 70 gigabytes in size, and the Decred node is around 12 gigabytes in size. I'll soon be creating a tutorial on how to set up BasicSwap DEX. Decred's integration with BasicSwap offers a new avenue for users to trade Decred in a more private and decentralized manner. A new state-of-the-market livestream featuring Project Lead Jacob Compayet will go live on Monday, July 15th to discuss the future of Decred. Be sure to check it out and ask your questions. Phoenix Green created a video on Decred version 2. Building a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer future. With the release of Decred 2, 
Decred is now a feature complete layer one blockchain. Since the release of the Decred roadmap in 2017, the project and its development teams have worked diligently to build a network that removes all single points of failure. Coin holder governance lets users stake and vote on block validation, consensus upgrades, proposals, and treasury spends all without needing intermediaries. Decred has had a treasury from day one, of which 10% of the coin supply goes to. The treasury and spending procedures are decentralized to allow coin holders to vote on all treasury spends from their non-custodial wallet. A noteworthy achievement of Decred's coin holder governance is the ability to vote on upgrades and consensus changes without causing chain splits. Decred is fork resistant and a hard fork only protocol. As of Decred 2.0, Decred's privacy mixing stake shuffle no longer requires a centralized server. All mixes are now facilitated between peers. As a side note, Decred's anonymity set used for these mixes is amongst the highest in the space, approximately 60% of the coin supply. Now let's look at Politea, Decred's proposal platform. The Decred gaming and betting proposal from Victor Duarte aims to develop Decred integrated games, starting with Pong and Rock, Paper, Scissors, including decentralized betting through Bison Relay, Decred's own communications and micropayment platform running on Lightning Network. The crypto betting market is huge, but there are little to no truly decentralized options available. Initial research and a proof of concept for Pong has already been completed, with a demo of two players playing over Lightning Network. The total ask is $13,500 paid in Decred, with a completion date aiming for the end of September. Victor says funding this proposal will help attract a broader audience to Decred's technology. This proposal serves as a foundation for future gaming proposals like poker and other more complex games. The proposal ultimately passed with 94% voter approval, nearly 17,000 votes were cast, making for a 41% voter turnout. The Cypherpunk Times 2024-2025 proposal from JT Santana requests $30,000 in Decred for one year of work to continue the Cypherpunk Times website. They say Cypherpunk Times will continue to be a hub for Cypherpunk culture, featuring articles and promoting the work being done at Decred and other projects, as well as general privacy and decentralization. What's new in this proposal is weekly X spaces and podcasts to discuss articles and collaboration with other community members. There will also be an emphasis on short and long form video content. Their goal is to reach a thousand followers on X and continue to build the community around Cypherpunk Times and act as a bridge between different projects. The previous editor, Phoenix Green, has decided to take a break for this proposal. Ask a question or leave a comment before the proposal goes to vote. The Decred Arabia Communications and Content 2024 proposal failed with 29.5% voter approval. Over 8,000 votes were cast with a 21% voter turnout. Proposals require a 60% voter approval to pass. While this proposal failed, keep in mind Arabic translation for software and other areas are included in the 2024 translations proposal. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. Be sure to check out Decred on Twitter and visit Decred.org to learn more about the project.